Wow. Very close to flipping over. Okay, looks like they tried to get it with wood. Loaded. Easy job for Hulk. This ground is just horribly muddy. Hurricane Hillary came. And to be honest, it's not as bad as the news made it out to seem. But, uh, let's see, I'm gonna use, get my shackles. I'm gonna use some straps. Oh, well, you know what, my recovery chain. That's what I'll use. Yeah, so like I was saying, her, Hurricane Hillary hit. So we're doing a lot of wind shouts and stuff like this. The reason they requested me, as you can see, you can't back into this yard without getting stuck yourself. Let's get both of these. These are my half inch gray 10 Omega links. Not just is it full of mud. But you need to, as you winch, rotate it. See, if I winch it straight back here, it's going to jack up all this stuff. So you want to side pull it. Start from this angle right here where I'm standing. It should come out easy. Now with Hulk, this should be a one-shot job. So as I rig to it, I'll be able to winch in, lift, and rotate it all at the same time and get it all the way out here. It doesn't feel like hurricane weather. I personally thought this hurricane Hillary stuff was blown out of proportion and specific, uh, specifically in regards to hitting right here in East LA. It's been a bit rainy. And I know it's devastated other parts of the state in Mexico. No players to all you guys affected. You know what, we'll get a lot, a lot, a lot of height. Talking about like 50 degrees, not close to full extension. From here to there, about 50 feet. Good. Outriggers. I'll put this outrigger down for safety. Gotta keep the alley clear because cars are coming in and out. We're right behind University of Southern California, USC. Right here on Vermont and 30th. If you go straight there, you can see the school building, one of them. A very, very hot spot intersection. Can't afford to block it off, even though I'll be done quick.
Jeez, imagine having the M100. The boom would probably reach it like right here. Let's start with this cable. I'll grab it, bro. It's full of mud. What's up, Bobs? Now for these We'll go to That's the lift gate Now if I pull from there See these cylinders I don't want to pull against them You know what? I'm going to leave it in neutral. I can go from right here. Now I can do that for one reason only. It's because like I said, I'll leave it in neutral. I'm not going to be doing any hardcore stuff. Yeah, that's what I'll do. And I'll hug the entire thing too. So we put the chain in through here. Ah. Close the Omega link back to itself.
Keep in mind it's still in free spool. I think that's good. And we take off free spool. <coughs> I'll just make sure, okay, this one's good. I will ride this up higher though. There we go, as high as I can get it. Mm. This one's good. Now funny enough, the other one wasn't high enough. This one is too high. Actually, no, that's good. Just gotta straighten out the block, make sure the lines are nice and straight. Now you see right there that wood, that's why I got the, the rotator and winching at this angle so I can clear that wood. Put some tension there, more on the blue. I've almost got it. I got it. Okay, who's gonna be the one to drive it? Give me two seconds, let me push it over a little bit more and then you're good. So how we managed to get stuck over this wood, I don't know, but I wanted to keep it intact. So the base of the, the lift gate right there had to get airborne and that's what I just did. It slides pretty easy because, well, one, I got a 50 ton rotator, two, it's mud. Once it's perfectly straight. All right, now let's turn the stern wheel to the right. Okay, we're, we're pretty much ready. You can go ahead and fire it up for me, please. Huh? <laughs> we're not out yet. I'll get you out right now, sir. Now what he's gonna do for me is fire it up so he can steer it. But in the meantime, I wanna do one thing. I'm not comfortable with this line here for this part. All the tension was on that side, which is perfect. But for here, 
I'm gonna do what I wanted to do and open this up a bit more. There we go. Now this is what I'm talking about. We'll just tighten up. A little to the left, right there. Make sure it's in neutral, no brakes. It's not on this side. They, they put sandbags and some other stuff under there, but with this thing in neutral, it should roll out so easy. Now I just rotate some more so my line of action is more towards the middle. Almost there. Once I get his rear tires on that flat spot, I think he should be able to uh, solo it. Let's try. Rotate some more, like right there. Okay, uh, hit the brakes. Now put it in reverse for me and try to go back about two feet. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, hold it. You're safe. I'm gonna de-rig and then you're good to go. Beautiful. Absolutely love these things. All right, now we just come in, put my cables away. <clears throat> guys need to see the boring part of wrapping up my cables and throwing this away well, I'll record one quick time as soon as the trucks put away and we could watch him back up all right if all goes well this guy will be able to go out the rest of the two feet needed I'm gonna just pull forward up ahead right here Let's hope he's not stuck again. Signature, you good? 
I'm good. This is an account, so I just need the unit information. Ryder keeps us very, very, very busy, man. Very busy. Love their business. 454. Just need all the information on it so I can bill it out. They love us because we have such a huge fleet. We're able to handle, geez, up to like six calls for them at one time, at the same time. Not many companies can do that while handling other stuff. Thanks, man. No problem, man. Yeah, pretty sure he's got it, but I want to see those wheels touch the asphalt. Watch that guy in front of him get stuck. I don't know what that guy was thinking. He could have waited till this was clear. Great success. See if this guy can pull forward too. Come on, little guy. I can't leave till everyone's out. Oh yeah. All right, later guys. Thank you. Now I'm out. All right, man, thank you. Take it easy, bro. Peace out, y'all.